Gary V is paving the way. He has just launched the V Friends. Well, at the time of me creating this video, he has delayed it for about a day so far. I'm following closely in, on Discord. And before you start thinking, this is some sort of hate video on V Friends. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I am allocating 10 ETH on this project and you're gonna see why. But at the same time, some issues that I have with this launch that I think that many people are not aware of and the issues that I have with this project has nothing to do with Gary V. It's not within his control and unfortunately, that's just one thing that people don't take into consideration when it comes to jumping on this bandwagon. So today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the pros and cons, the upside the downside all of the different sides to the coin when it comes to v friends and if you're thinking about investing in this nft so we're gonna first begin by understanding what is v friends and what is this nft non-fungible token this terminology that we're hearing again and again and again how it works and if you should be investing in this okay so basically here's how it works a lot of times in the comments that i've been seeing on the discord channel is that people are saying Gary V is trying to sell us a bunch of doodles. In fact, that is not the case. The doodles might seem like it's the art, when in fact, there's a lot of utility and a lot of intrinsic value in this. And hopefully, this video is to educate those of you that's thinking of buying from a very um, unbiased perspective and how to think about not just this launch, but any other future NFT launch in future. So one of the things that you've probably been seeing is that there's a lot of artists, content creators, influencers, celebrities out there where they're going in for a really quick cash grab. They realize that, hey, this NFT thing's a new thing, so let me just hire a bunch of digital artists and slap my face on it, give my stamp of approval, and make a quick cash grab, which in fact, a lot of influencers and celebrities have in the past. I'm not going to name the names, but let's just say people have lost a lot of money in the past just because of this, where it was just the NFT was based on hype. Is this something that's new, fresh and exciting, but it doesn't really have any utility to it. Now, however, VFriends is very different. You're not just buying art or a bunch of doodles, but rather there's a lot of utility to it. And I'm going to tell you why I am in personally investing 10 ETH in this project. I'm going to show you how to think about it, which ones to buy, which ones I think that is a good investment, as well as some issues people might not be taking into account when it comes to buying these tokens. Okay, so right now, these tokens, Gary has mentioned a couple of times that it is going to be an auction system. It starts from one ETH. And depending on the tokens that you buy, all of these tokens, they are going to allow you to have to get admission to VCon, which is basically Gary V's multi-day conference that is going to take place on in 2022, 23, and 2024. Okay, so this is going to be based around business, ideas, creativity, entrepreneurship, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so first of all, we got to, when it comes to really thinking about the value of this launch, the first thing to understand is that on top of the art and the NFT, what's the utility and what do you actually get out of it? So th this is an additional layer that Gary V has separated himself from all of the other content creators and influencers, celebrities, and that's basically utility to the token. It is actually embedded through a smart contract that as long as you hold any of these tokens, you will be able to attend this event for the next three years. Or if you decide to, maybe you go for the first one, you could decide to sell it off so that the person that buys it off, you will be able to get um, access to the events in the following two years. Okay, so first thing to consider is on top, and I'll, I'll walk you through like where the value is, okay? so. First thing is, how much do you think is the value to go to a, a conference where Gary knows the world is watching, right? This is where he is going to be running an event where he knows the people that is coming to this event are people that have bought his token and came in at, these are like the OGs. So I'm guessing, it's not just a guess, I would say, it, it, this is something that I'm very sure of. Gary would be allocating a huge budget in making sure that the first one is a huge success so that he's rewarding these people here 
and he can tell the critics and the haters, I told you so, and this, this was a great investment, when I told people it was a great investment. Okay, so that's the first thing. The first thing to understand is that this NFT is not like most traditional NFTs where it's just art, where it's just this virtual piece of JPEG file, but there is use, and that's the first one, VCon, right? So on top of that, um, there is, I'll, I'll drill down on the different cards as well as what it does. So there are the general admission, okay? Where there are all these different characters, you might have seen it, okay? And basically these are the different characters. So I'm gonna head over to my phone right now and let me show you like the different characters in here. So as you can see under V Friends, um, Gary has launched all these uh, different characters right so this would be and these these are supposed to be like um either a specific trait that he always talks about or a specific access so like courtside cat um as you can see here this gets you to sit courtside with gary v at a new york knicks game obviously will go for a lot so you're buying not just some of them could be access tokens okay um this would be gone fishing this again this is where you're buying one-to-one -one access to uh go fishing with gary v for three hours um, this would be like a jam session. This would be to get access to a keynote or any keynote of Gary V's public keynote appearance with green room access. Um, and there's five of them in total. So if you think about this, it's not about the art, right? A lot of times people don't understand, who don't understand this, they're looking at this and saying, you know, my, my fifth grader, any fifth grader could have drawn this. It's not about the thing. It's about the intrinsic value as well as the utility that comes with this drawing. Okay, so think about the art, not as the art, but the thing that is the underlying value that comes along with this, okay? So imagine like if you bought this piece of art, this NFT, this would give you access to um, a mentoring meeting with Gary. Um, you could be part of the team for a day and shadow him. This, like this podcast, Panther, um, I believe it's gonna go for a, like a lot maybe i'm guessing at least 10 eth wait let me say let me think about that for a second 10 eth that would be about thirty-three thousand, give or take okay why because if you're think about like an influencer um who's thinking about launching their podcast doing getting more visibility and getting gary on right so understand that you're not just buying this piece of jpeg file but it could be access or it could be basic admission this could be to shadow him for a day this could be for supper now this carries value because let me just show you this b-roll here for a second now this b-roll here is when i was speaking at an event with gary and i believe this was in manila okay so at this event we had dinner later and just to give you some sort of perspective to how much people pay, that dinner with Gary, like this dinner that you're seeing right now, everybody else in the room paid $12,000 just for this one time, I think it was about maybe two and a half, three hours networking dinner with Gary, okay? So coming back to this example over here, imagine if you got this one-to-one -one token that allows you to have either breakfast, lunch, dinner with Gary, Okay, where you're buying access, which is, right, it could be the breakfast bat, the brunch, ladybug, dinner deer, hangout hawk, that it would be a virtual thing. So think about like this for a second. Sometimes people say, why is this drawing worth 10 ETH, right? It's not to think about the drawing, but just imagine. So if you bought this NFT here, you would be able to get access to Gary or to whoever holds the token to Gary three times once each year to have dinner in a group of 10. So the way to think about this is if, and it's not about whether you would pay for it. A lot of times people say, well, I will never pay, you know, $10,000, $20,000 for it. It's to think about what would other people pay for it? Because that's to understand whether something's an investment. It's not whether it's worth it to you. It's whether it's worth it to the market. And that's what every speculation or investment really is. So it's not about whether you would spend $30,000 on this, but do you think that by holding this thing and being at the event and being able to utilize it three times where you could use it once and then flip it later so that somebody else that holds it will be able to utilize the two times? That is how you start thinking about these tokens and how much would it be worth to, not to you, but to somebody else that holds the token where it would be beneficial to them. Think about like, so, so for example, same thing here, right? This pen, uh, podcast panther. I am eyeing this thing here 
but I got a strong feeling that it might be over 10 ETH. We'll see, okay? Um, I'm allocating for fun and giggles uh, 10 ETH on this entire project. But the way I'm thinking about this is I'm bidding when it, when it opens up. By the time you guys watch this video, it's probably out. But that's how you start thinking about the future of these NFTs. That would be the second one, utility. So if you take a look at this, so this is the one-on-one -on -one access, okay? This is where you could go into a competition. So you could play a video game with Gary, go bowling with him. You could play poker, go fishing, right? Those are the kind of tokens that we saw earlier. This could be, you know, shadowing him in, um, and, and seeing what it is that he does or it could be just the admission to the event. Okay, so on top of that, this would be the gift token that I haven't covered just yet. As long as you are a token holder of this token over here, this is where you would be able to get drops from Gary, where he actually sends you physical stuff to your address sent over to you. Okay, so the first thing to, so to kind of understand this entire thing, let me head over to this whiteboard over here. Okay, so the first one is to understand that um, we've talked about utility. Okay, so how much is it worth, not to you, but to that ideal person where they eventually catch up with cryptocurrencies and NFTs? Right now, I can tell you that today versus two years, three years from now, adoption is going to be very, very different. Remember a time, and I can tell you that when I first started out online marketing back in 2005, people were still, especially from the country that I'm, when I'm at, a lot of people were still against the idea of putting in their credit card in an online world because there's going to be, you know, scammers out there is going to, and it's not safe, right? And I can tell you that today, right now, cryptocurrency is going through the same thing. There's still a lot of friction when it comes to the adoption level because a lot of people are thinking, well, this is weird. It's cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is for, you know, drug dealers and stuff like that. So ultimately, adoption today and three years from now is going to be very different. And when you understand this, okay, when the, when, when the rest of the world starts understanding utility, that is when the price of this thing is going to go up. But it's not without its problems like I talked about. We'll come to that in a few minutes. Okay, that's number one. But how much it's worthwhile, not just utility, but the next one is the event itself. Now, you will know that a typical event that is not a pitch fest, an actual good event, would probably set you back, you know, a, a good event maybe about $500, okay? So multiply that by three, okay? This is the event itself because every, every token holder gets access to event. But the next one, which is the, what I'm gonna call the, let, let's utilize purple. It would be the intrinsic, as you can see, spelling is not my strong suit either. Intrinsic value of this thing. Okay, it's not about the art. Okay, some, some people say it's the art. It's not about the art, but intrinsic value just means imagine if you attended this, this concert, right? Imagine if you attended this Michael Jackson concert back then, where there's people out there who would collect the ticket stub for the first ever Michael Jackson concert. Now, how much do you think a collector that's hardcore would pay to get that original, authenticated, certified that it's real ticket stub, right? How much do you think that receipt of, you know, Michael Jordan's first ever game as a rookie is worth today, right? Just think about it from that angle. And it's if it's worth, like, why do people collect bottle caps or these weird stamps is because to that people, to those people in that world, that's worth something, okay? So the third way to think about this and what gives this thing value is the intrinsic value of Gary's first ever NFT launch that is beyond utility, that is beyond the event itself, that is beyond the access, right? Whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, whether it, what the token does, but how much it's worth as the thing so that even after the event is over, after you utilize that one-on-one -on -one access where you're playing basketball or video games or poker with Gary, how much is it worth if you believe that Gary is gonna continue exploding on social media? His first ever thing launch that he did in the crypto space. Now this is the big question mark over here. Here's what I'm doing when it comes to buying these tokens and how I'm allocating the 10 ETH that I'm dropping the moment this thing happens, depending on the, what, the, what Discord says, um, apparently there is 
another 24 hour launch delay in launch but here's what here's what i'm doing i am looking at a few things okay one which is are there any tokens that i feel i would want to be able to utilize myself or just to have fun as well as depending on how the auction goes if somebody else in a specific position like the one out of ones like you know it's it's gonna be i'm pretty sure way above 10 eth so you know i'm probably not even going to be looking at those but there is one big thing that people are not considering so let me tell you what the big thing is okay and the problem that i have with this it's nothing to do with gary like i mentioned but this would be the price of ethereum itself okay now what do i mean by this so the price of ethereum in the last one year has went up 15x so that means if you put in a thousand dollars in eth you would have fifteen thousand dollars today that means that if you had a hundred thousand dollars in eth you would have 1.5 million now this is the biggest problem what is that that is the risk associated to ETH, the risk associated in this NFT compared to just leaving your money on ETH. Okay, now that's probably a different discussion for another day, which is basically what my thoughts are on ETH and where the price could be. But if you take a look at just last 30 days, it has gone up 65%. Like my last video price of ETH was pretty much about, you know, $2,000 and now it's $3,000. So the problem I have is basically this. Imagine if price of ETH by year end is $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, which by the way is not unrealistic. I've talked about how the price of ETH could very well hit $2,000 um, when it was $1,000. Right now, here we are at $3,000. And, and here's the thing, okay, this is a YouTube video. I'm not going to pretend as though I know exactly where the price of ETH is going to be. Everybody, and nobody on YouTube knows either, you know, let alone YouTubers. Everything is just a guess and a speculation at this point. But all I'm saying is that ETH or Bitcoin for that matter is at a huge bull run right now and is probably going to continue for the next couple of months. So the thing that I have and the problem with parking my money, 10 ETH, when it comes to this NFT is that the price of the increase in the NFT is not going to be bigger than the potential in ETH, which could be potentially a safer bet. So price of ETH right now is, let's just, you know, about 3,500. 3, so that means that if price of ETH goes up three times, which hits 10K by year end, one ETH will be worth $10,000. And when somebody is thinking about buying this, they're not, most people are not thinking about how much it costs in ETH, but how much it costs in fiat currency. So if the price of ETH is constantly rising, and let's say it goes to 10,000 by year end, that means somebody that paid one ETH for this, if they're trying to flip it for two ETH, that means the person that's buying it, this new token, has to fork out in fiat currency 20,000 US dollars in, and that would be a 6x increase and to the end consumer they don't care that the price of ETH has gone up three times to them they're just thinking about how much am I paying in dollar amounts in fiat currency so the question to really think about is not whether the price of this will go up the right question to ask is will the price of this go up faster than the price in ETH? And that is the million dollar answer I don't think anybody knows. So at the end of it all, it really comes down to how much do you want to support Gary V in his first ever project? And not so much from the investment. I think it's still gonna be a great investment because the Gary V brand um, is gonna be here to stay. On top of that, I know that Gary is doing whatever it takes to really make sure that the people that supported him at this ground floor level is going to be rewarded. I have no doubt that the first shipment of physical products to people that holds the gift token is going to be mind blown. I have no, it's not going to be surprising that the people that attend the first VCon is going to be blown out of their mind and because he's going to have some amazing speakers and keynotes there. So no question, no doubt that it's going to be amazing. Um, but from an investment point of view, 
you want to be able to factor in this one main thing which is the explosive growth in ether right now so guys let me know in the comments below if you are going to be investing in this token if yes why yes if not why not and if you are investing which token are you going for and if you truly enjoyed this video do smash the like button it does help this channel out and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to be up to date with the latest news on all ways to make money online